Jeremy and uh, friends, distinguished uh, guests, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you all. It's uh, really a great pleasure for me to join you at this uh, kickoff ceremony of the ICT uh, Career uh, Center today. And I would like to thank, uh, in particular, the ICT Human Resources Consortium for embarking on this very meaningful initiative, which I'm sure will go a long way towards helping ICT professionals to broaden their career opportunities. Last year's financial tsunami swept the entire world. Preserving jobs and supporting our SMEs are high on the government agenda, including those uh, in the ICT sector. And earlier this year, Jeremy and uh, colleagues in OGIO started uh, to engage uh, the ICT sector and uh, in particular representatives, uh, I'm sure a lot of you have uh, participated, uh, the ICT associations, to uh, try to identify measures to help ICT professionals during this uh, economic downturn. And uh, I gather that there have been a number of brainstorming sessions and uh, the idea of a one-stop portal where ICT professionals can look for opportunities in business, uh, employment, and training uh, emerge. The portal should also be able to help uh, them prepare for employment or become self-employed or to set up a business. This idea has since been developed to include an offline ICT sector career building element uh, with the aim to provide the best service to the ICT professionals. This initiative has our full support. The government has already provided more than 2.7 million Hong Kong dollars to help kickstart the preparation of the ICT uh, career center. I understand that the consortium will be submitting additional proposals to further develop and enrich the career center. As you are no doubt aware, the chief executive in his recent policy address identified six industries as being crucial to the further development of our economy. These include education, ser educational services, medical services, environmental industries, uh, testing and certification services, innovation and technology, and of course the cultural and creative industries. All, in all of these sectors, the ICT sector will have a key enabling role to play in promoting their development. I encourage ICT professionals and enterprises to reach out to these industries and explore opportunities for careers and business. Perhaps this might be an area for the ICT employment center to look into. And once again, I would like to express my heartiest appreciation for the contributions made by all participating ICT associations to bring about the inauguration of the ICT Career Center today. Please rest assured that the government will continue to give the ICT Career Center its full support as it continues to expand opportunities for ICT professionals and enterprises. And uh, at the end, I think it will be of paramount importance to see the ICT sector thrive and contribute to the development of Hong Kong into a knowledge-based digital economy. Thank you.